And then an ordinary bed if you just want to snooze as well. What happens for science? What happens when I... Oh, God, this is, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea! Why did I decide to do this? Okay, well, I'm just gonna go to sleep now. Goodbye, because I think I just died. Well, hello there! Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Stormworks. Today, we're gonna be playing with a giant sky crate, and hopefully this goes well. Generally, in Stormworks, I have a pretty bad track record, though, so we're probably gonna see this thing get totally destroyed, but that's fun as well. Anyways, in front of us is the Nexagon Sky Crane X4000P, and basically, it's a giant drone that can pick up ships. How fun is that? Now, also, I have spawned in another creation, hence why we're getting a little bit of lag here. As you can see in the distance, we have that giant barge. Now, my goal is to hopefully pick up that thing. I want to see if this thing can pick up that thing anyways. It's a giant ship. This is a giant drone thing. Well, it's a crane, but yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely a drone as well. Anyways, let's get on here and uh, appreciate the size of this thing, goddamn, and appreciate my jump skills as well, because they are always impressive in this game. Um, now, you might be wondering, why is there a walkway in between the helicopter pad? Well, this platform actually expands out when we're in the air, so the helicopter pad will be actually way back there. Uh, so yeah, it's not like a very dangerous helicopter pad to land on. Anyways, yes, this is a crane. There's not much to this aside from, you know, crane goodies. We got elevators on this as well, so if we did have to pick up, uh, citizens and whatnot, we could totally do that. Not much else up here aside from engine controls and everything, and hopefully... I know how to do this thing, so I believe we got to engage, yeah, right here. We have a generator that we have to activate, so let's do that real quick. There we go. The red bar going up tells me we did that right, so that's good. And I think this thing's pretty much ready to go, so let's actually get inside. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, that's just elevator controls on and off the elevator, so if you're not on it, you can totally control them as well, which is pretty cool. Inside here, we have storage for thermal equipment. There's actually no passenger seats on this, so... Uh, I guess we're not going to be picking up any passengers. That's not the goal today, anyways. Now, let's get to the helm, where all the good stuff is. Or the bridge, I guess, as it's called on this, and there we go. We are now inside with all the fun controls. So we have crane controls totally up here, uh, crane controls down there as well. Let's put on some of these lights, exterior lights, spotlights, why the hell not? And now for the fun part, actually driving this thing. So remote generator ignition, I think we need that on. I, I've only flew, th flew this once, guys, so bear with me here. And again, as per typical with me, I'm flying solo, so... Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Horizontal throttle, that's kind of what we want to do now. This whole thing is freaking shaking. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yes, indeed, we are moving. So I'm just going to get a little bit away from the dock here because we do have to expand this thing out to go upwards. And my god, now that I'm inside of it, this is this is too damn big. This is too damn big for me right now. I, I, I don't know if this is going to go well, guys, but I'm going to do my best. Um, are we already... No, we're still waiting to get my ass end away from that but yes now that we can expand this let's actually turn down this just in case the horizontal throttle makes it get all wonky in the air horizontal thrust is off vertical thrusters we're going to turn those bad boys on we are going to engage that all the way up and we are going to extend the rotors oh yes okay at least we got it in the air now let's actually uh put this thing on autopilot so what we're going to want to do here or at least an altitude pilot. Oh, we don't have anything engaged yet, so that would actually crash it if we did that. I'm gonna put it at about 50. We'll see how good that is, and we'll engage that now so it's all automated. So now it's going to hopefully hover in the air at around 50 feet. I'm assuming that's what that is. It could be meters as well. I have no idea. All right, so far so good. I actually wanna go a little bit lower. We're a little bit too high right now, so I'm gonna drop her down to 35, I think. Should be the sweet zone here because we want to obviously hover above the ship but not extremely high above it that actually might be a little bit too low we'll judge it when we get out there so we can drive this thing i'm gonna be very careful with the controls here let's actually rotate it because we are gonna have to i think what we'll do is we'll drive the ship on the conveyor belt these three things in the middle basically go into the water and we should be able to pick up this boat assuming i do this correctly so i'm gonna get in front of it a little bit Ooh, controls are very delayed. Um, I'm already turning to the left, and it took a while to do that. That's okay. We don't have to aim this accurately, because, like I said, I'm going to drive the boat on it. 
Looks like we're at a good height, though. Just above the boat. Oh, oh, why are we going down? Why the hell are we going down? What the... Oh, sorry, boat. Sorry. What? I don't know what's going on here, man. I do not what's go... Um... Altitude, why are you not listening to me? What the hell just happened? You were doing so good until then. I didn't even touch anything, so it wasn't even me. Let's see. Oh, God, I sunk the boat. I... Wait, where, where, where's the boat? Yes, I definitely sunk the boat. God damn it. What the hell happened? Okay, take two. This time, hopefully, we don't randomly fall out of the sky. Now, I went up about 40 this time just to play it safe. Looks like we got lots of room once again. We're going to get ahead of this thing. I'm going to slow her down now. Actually, I think we can put it in reverse even. We might be able to put this underneath a boat. I think that would be way harder, though. So we're going to try and hold it in the air around here. It should keep coasting for a little bit and then slow down a little bit. But yes, this looks good. Now, we don't actually have the crane controls right here. We have them back here. So we can turn on the magnets. Front crane, middle crane, back crane, and I believe this is all cranes down. So we're going to put all cranes down, get to the pilot seat. Hopefully this is working correctly. Yes, as you can see. Uh, and I think you guys get the idea. Once we have the boat in between these, hopefully this thing's strong enough to lift up the boat. Uh, I've, I've never lifted up this boat, never lifted up any boat before, so we'll see what happens here. But we're going to put these well into the water here so we can drive right aboard. All right, there they go into the water. Let's make sure we can go down deep enough. I probably will stop it before it hits the ground, but as you can see, uh, this is quite deep. Uh, this is a quite deep part of the ocean, so that should be good right about there. I don't want to hit the ground just in case weird things happen. You never know. Uh, so we're going to turn all cranes down off. Now the fun part, though. We're going to have to leave this and just hope this thing... Actually, I didn't even think about that. How the hell are we going to get back in? Ah, this is why this is here. Okay, so we're going to take the elevator, not up, down. And we're going to have to take a nice little swim over to our ship. Okay, and there we go. So, it's there. This is perfect right now. Now we just have to worry about sharks. I didn't think about that. We are going to be swimming. Hopefully I don't look... Uh-oh, is that a shark right there already? That can't be a shark, right? Is that a freaking shark? No, that isn't a shark. Okay, that's just a giant freaking fish trying to scare the hell out of me is what it's trying to do. All right, but we got it all set up. God, this is... This is... <laughs> This is way too complex, but hopefully we can actually do this. If we could just lift it out of, out of the water a little bit, I'd be so happy. All right, made it without one shark bite. You know, it's a good day when, so we're just going to get up here. Uh, simple little barge here, nothing too crazy with this design. But yeah, we're just basically using it as a weight. I want to see how much this thing can lift, so get to the helm. I think I just got to turn the engines on. Everything else should be good. Oh, actually, we might have to restart the engines. That's okay. Okay, we are going to have to be careful not to hit that elevator too hard. Last thing I want to do is break that thing off, because that would basically mean I'm stuck down here. And we've done that way too many times before. Okay, this should be able to coast for a while, so we're going to get off the helm, throw the engines all the way down, and we might have to edit this a little bit on the actual crane, but we should actually be in between. I really wish I could see out without... Actually, let's just get on the helm here to see how it looks. Okay, so yeah, it does look like we are coasting ahead a little bit, so I might even throw this thing into reverse. And if we put the engines up just a little bit, there we go. See if we can turn this thing on now. It does like the stall. I think we got it going in reverse now. At least we should be able... Yeah, some of these are spinning, as you can see. Actually, that might be totally stalled. All right, so I think it's definitely working. We just got to speed this up just a little bit. Now these things should be spinning... You know what? This is very hard to maneuver. It might actually be easier to, to maneuver the actual crane itself. So what I think we're going to do, before we break something, let's just turn these things all the way down. We'll drop the engines down and see how easy it is to do fine movements in the giant crane. And right here is our elevator. Hopefully we don't get stuck on the way up. All right. See you later, barge. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I didn't think about this. Oh, this, there's this little tip of the ship. Hopefully I don't fall out. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Are you serious? The one thing I could get caught on, I actually do get caught on. That's that's actually amazing. Oh, God. We are sinking the freaking ship. What the hell? How can I not do any of these things right? Okay, come on. Come on. Just let go of the ship. Let go. It's okay. You know what? Let's actually... Oh, God! 
Holy crap! What am I doing? I want to go back there. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. I don't know how I can break games so well, guys. I don't try and break them this well, but it usually happens that way. Okay, ship's upside down. Little bit of a pro- I'm dead. I'm dead as well. Ship's upside down and I'm dead. And that was <laughs> a complete failure. God damn it! So just for visual reference on how unlucky I was with that, the only piece that I could connect to is this. That little bridge that goes out there. And somehow, that's exactly where the elevator landed. Directly <laughs> underneath that. Ah, and if it wasn't for that, we would have been totally good, god damn it. Okay, well, it's not perfectly centered, but at least we can get on the freaking elevator now without, you know, totally dying and getting, being slingshotted. That was pretty amazing, I gotta be honest. I was literally a slingshot. Where the hell am I? Oh, yeah, we gotta go out here. But I don't really want to be a slingshot. I want to see if we can pull this thing up. So I'm thinking we should be good now, hopefully. And this time, we should definitely not at least hit it. Why is it so much lower? Before, this was out of the water, so please tell me these things still work. Elevator up. Let's go. All right, see you later, boat. This time, you're definitely not hitting me, so that's good. Got that going for us. Now, hopefully, this thing stops wobbling so we can actually get it into the slot. All right, almost there. Please don't break anything. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous right now because who knows what could happen. Ooh, that worked perfectly. That was actually really nice. Let's turn that off so it doesn't break anything. And let's... Whoa, where am I? Okay, way over here. That's right. I forgot how big this thing was. Here is the helm. Now, let's just make sure how we look in here in terms... Oh, it's still floating ahead. Okay, so I'm going to have to be very careful here. <gasps> Slow down. Slow down. Oh, you bastard. See, that's the problem with this thing? Oh, my God. It's so aggressive. Okay. I should have just did it this way originally. I thought it'd be easier to, to, pull, to pull the boat up, but with so many moving parts, nothing is easy in this game. Okay, we should be in strafe mode now. So, yes, I can strafe it instead of rotating the whole platform is what I'm going to do now, because we got to get it back in the middle. All right, there we go. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Only took me three tries. All right, let's rotate it just a little bit. There we go. This thing doesn't have, like, fine, minute controls, so you got to kind of fight it with its own motors here. So there we go. Once again, we'll strafe it a little bit over, because it is kind of floating around. And now we should be good. Just slightly go forward. Slow. Slow and steady wins the race. We don't, we, do, we don't, we don't got to do this great. All right, and there we go. Now, I'm assuming this is back heavy, so this is kind of how we want it anyways. Before it moves, let's lift this sucker up. Okay, all cranes up. Oh, God, please work, please work, please work, please work. Come on. Come on, little boat. We're going to take you to the air, man. I don't know why I wanted to do this. I just thought it would be a good challenge. Now, we are going to have to stop this thing before it hits me, too. I just want to make sure... Did we actually do it? Holy crap, that is that is beautiful, man. That is freaking beautiful. Okay, we have lifted a barge out of the water. Now, before it hits me, let's turn that thing off. And god damn it, guys, it took me forever, but I did it. Well, that was fun. No point to doing that, but it was fun. Now, I don't know what the clamps do, so I don't want to press that button. I believe we have magnets, though. Toggle back, magnets, middle, and front. We're all magnets. We're going to magnetize that thing to the platform. Hopefully that means it's stuck now. So let's go uh, test this thing out. Full throttle ahead. Here we go, boat. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Wow. I actually lifted the huge barge out of the water. And I got to say, man, once we put this thing in gear, it has some pep in its step. Look at how fast we are going. My God. With it magnetized onto, it is totally good. I feel like I'm getting a little bit close to the ground. It is hitting my engine. I don't like that. Oh, God. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, God. What's going on? Why is it so bouncy? All right. Well, at least we did it. Now now, now it can totally break. I don't care. I don't know why the hell it's so bouncy. I wonder if it's just because hit, it's hitting me so much. Uh, I don't know if it destroyed my engine. Looks like they're still working, kind of, so that's good. Let's see what happens when we do a hard churn with this on. Because why not? Oh, my God. Dude, this is amazing that I can actually do this. Okay, we did rip off the front one, so those magnets don't really work that well. Are we going to be able to hold on to her? Oh, God. No, I think she's going to go down here soon. But it looks like it's totally fine. We're just going to drop it back in the water. You know, we played with it for a little bit. 
Now it's time to let it be its, you know, t t typical boat self. All right, see you later. Didn't even break the things off either. That might... Is, is that going to sink? Uh, I actually think it's good. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Let's lift these things up and, uh, yeah, call it a day. So, yes, the crane lift can definitely lift heavy loads, no problem at all, and uh, it does work remarkably well as well once you figure out all these crazy controls. It also has GPS coordinates, by the way, uh, so you could pinpoint a location if you do want to. And aside from that, that's pretty much it with this one. My question is, can the propellers hit me? So let's find out. Maybe we can actually get on to this. Uh, oh, yeah, looks like we're good. So for science, here we... Ah! Oh! <laughs> Yes, you can die by propellers. Okay, sweet. Okay, and I gotta be honest, the crane took a lot more time than expected as per usual, but I did want to show you guys quickly one more creation in this game. This is Sigrun. It's a futuristic aircraft, and I gotta say, it looks phenomenal. So, as per typical with Stormworks, it's highly detailed on the inside as well, so I did want to show you guys this. And yeah, we'll try and take it off, try and have some fun with it, and see what we can do. So yes, here's the back loading bay. I believe vehicles can indeed fit in here, and uh, it should be able to li lift off with them as well. Now, opening this up, we have basically another storage bay here. This actually has a lot of your equipment in it, and I love the equipment storage. It just goes literally in the wall. Out of sight, out of mind when you do not need it, so you got a little bit of everything. Actually, let's throw that parachute on. I don't know how the parachutes work, but maybe we'll try and jump out of this just for fun. Uh, these don't do anything, it just says mag, I'm not really sure what they do, so I'm not gonna press them just in case. Coming into the engine room, we have a gear disengage here, I honestly don't think I have to do anything in here, actually that's the only button that's in here, so it looks like it's rather easy to deal with. Oh, we got more parachutes here as well, we are stocked and locked and ready to rock on this one. Uh, then this is just kind of the, uh, the passenger room. Got some emergency exits on the roof. What does this do? Medical bed. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a medical bed there. Did not expect that, but uh, I love that about this thing. It's got a lot of hidden stuff. And then an ordinary bed if you just want to snooze as well. What happens for science? What happens when I... Oh, God, this is, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Why did I decide to do this? Okay, well, I'm just going to go to sleep now. Goodbye, because I think I just died. Okay, um, I'm seriously stuck in here, so we're gonna have to reset that. So yes, don't go in the bed and then press the button like an idiot. All right, back to this room, though. I do like the, uh, the stairs that come out over here. So there is, uh, doors on the sides as well. You can't actually, actually, can you get to them? I did not know that button was there. Okay, I guess we could have went in that way this whole time. I, I figured I'd show you the back end first, because, you know, some people tend to like that. But yeah, we also have a clock that uh, clearly doesn't work. 1226. Yeah, that's not even close to the right time. But it is... Oh, it just changed to 1227. So I wonder if you can set it up right. I don't know. But um, that doesn't matter. We, we don't need time where we're going anyways. Let's get to the helm. Now, these doors do auto-close, which is really nice as well. There's lots of seats in here, as you can see. And lots of controls. Now, there's a pilot seat as well as a captain seat. So once again, you probably need two people to do this, but... I like a little bit of a challenge, so let's see if we can take it off with just one person. All right, we got throttle here. Let's up that just a little bit, just in case we turn this thing on. Um, stabilizing. We got fuel tanks. Oh, we got multiple fuel tanks, actually. Okay. Landing gear controls over there. Uh, what else do we got? Altitude. We can set our altitude. We have autopilot as well, which is always nice. Um, and that looks to be just about it. Now, I'm assuming this is all fuel tank systems as well as power up. That's what I like to see. Okay, there we go. All right, we're already moving ahead. We got the controls here. We actually should be okay. That's why I didn't put the throttle up too high. Oh, man. This ain't bad at all. I think I got this thing already. And look at it. It's freaking beautiful. Solar panels on the top and everything. This is futuristic. So I hope this is enough of a runway. I've never taken this thing off, so this should be fun. Okay, let's get back inside. Follow that white line. Once we're ready to go, actually, I think I can throttle up. Yeah, we have the throttle controls on the outside as well. So we're just not going to use the buttons because that takes too many buttons to deal with. I'd rather use my keyboard than uh, in-game in buttons. That gets a little bit annoying. All right, not much of a runway, man, but hopefully we should be good to go. Throttle up. Oh, man. Okay, this thing's real fast. Yep, liking it. No problem at all. That took off so damn quickly. Look at how fast we are going. I have no idea how fast we are going. Do we have a... 
A speed indicator in here. Knots. 217 knots. I don't know what that is in ordinary speed. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Uh, all right. Let's actually put the landing gear up. And do we have to hold it? We have to hold it. That's annoying. Because I have no idea how long this is going to take. Hopefully, we, 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 we don't crash while I'm trying to do this. There we go. Now they're up. And whoa. I didn't realize there was a giant bridge here. Okay. This thing has some speed on it, though. Look at that. We're going to be able to do a loop. No problem at all. Maybe not. Oh, God. I'm going to try and flip it back around once we're up here. Wow. This thing's actually extremely agile. I didn't know if it'd be a very good flyer with its design. Looks like it totally is, though. Okay. Is there actually a... Uh... I don't think there's an airstrip there. I'd actually like to try and land this thing if I can. I've never landed a plane in this. Oh, my God. We are going so fast. Problem is, the only landing strip is that world's smallest one back at my base. So, I mean, I guess we could try it. So, I guess we're going to put those gears down again. We're going to give it a shot here. I don't think it's going to go well. But I, I, I'm not going to learn unless I try, damn it. Landing gears are indeed back down. So, we're good. There's my airstrip way over there. We're going to give it a turnaround here and give it our best chance. Is that a cloud? I hope that's a cloud. Oh, God. Okay, so those clouds, not very realistic. Okay, I am really high up now, right now. I don't even see the ground, so we're just going to start going down a little bit. I have dropped the throttles down quite hard. Okay, that's got to be... Is that... It's so hard to tell where the hell I am right now or how high I am. I'm thinking that's the ocean right there. Obviously. Okay, there we go. Now it's turning a little bit more blue. Oh, yes. Okay, now we just need to turn this a bit. Keep it nice and slow. Gonna slow it down a little bit more. Oh, my God. I might actually have a chance at doing this. Nice and slow. I don't know how slow I should go. I don't know if there's, like, brakes as well. I've never landed a thing on this, so... There we go. We're dropping it down even more. Engines are pretty much off. There we go. Come on. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! Wow, that really stopped quickly. I don't know if I put the brakes on or if the wheels kind of locked up there. I don't think I extended the gears all the way out. But I freaking landed it, guys! Look, I'm not dead! That's amazing! Okay, so slowly and steadily, I'm getting a little bit better at this very complex game. But yes, we landed a rather large aircraft. We lifted a giant boat today. This was a good day in Stormworks, and that's a rare one in this very complex game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're gonna wrap up this one here. Now, as always, if you do wanna download any of the creations that you saw in this episode, links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.